my artwork that I, my art practice isn't about changing the world or it's about showing people what is already there. It's about working with idiosyncrasies and it's about me using my intuition and my my own personal idiosyncrasies, the little routines that I go through every day, um, the habits that I have, the fidgeting that I do constantly is all related to my artwork. It's I've really had to look at what I naturally do in order to pick out what my artwork is. I'm now very aware of the little things I do and just fidgeting with blue tack or lining up pieces of sugar in a cafe. That is what I do and I would have done it anyway. But I'm now calling this my art practice. I try not to have an intention. I try to use my instincts and work in a way that is natural to me. Um, in the same way that when I gather the things that I gather, it is because I have some kind of, I'm drawn to them in some way. Um, sometimes I might, gather it, gather something and an idea will come into my head uh, about what to do with it but quite often when this happens it never goes to plan um, not to plan that, that's the wrong way to put it um, quite often when I when I have an idea of how I'm going to use these gathered items um, these ideas change and are manipulated and whether that's through the space I'm working in or or the circumstances or just how I'm feeling that day. I have, for example, last week when Angie um, filmed me, I went into the project space with a, a TV and a DVD player thinking that I would respond to an old film that I had of mys myself merging. But within the space, I was really, in, um, I was drawn to the crack that was in the wall, and I just started working with that instead. So sometimes I'll have intentions, but I'm always open-minded and don't set myself the challenge that I need to do what I originally planned. <laughs> 